This is like the third video in a row I've been wearing this sweatshirt. Hello people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome back to another reaction and analysis video where last time when we did this, it was the official trailer for Help Wanted, which was actually really cool. It had a lot of neat things in there. Some of, I, mi I missed quite a few things, like there were some sprinklers and I neglected to mention like the pipes leading down onto Chica so you can get rid of the cockroaches and all that stuff. But now, now we have another trailer. This is the FNAF Help Wanted gameplay trailer. I have not seen it yet. I just realized I never actually synced up my video to my audio, so sorry if sorry if that that's all messed up in this clip, but oops. Yeah, I haven't seen it. I've seen it on Reddit and I saw that Docker made a video on it. So I'm super excited to see what's in store and I don't want to waste any time because I'm so excited to see what's going to be in it. My reaction to the last trailer was a bit weird. I kind of just stood there like, wow. So I'm hoping to do a bit more reacting rather than watching. Right, anyways, let's do it. FNAF VR. <coughs> Symbol, symbol, symbols. <laughs> if anybody knows what that means in English, I, I would love to know that. Yeah, you have to Whoa. do some repairs. Oh, his eyes, that's really weird. Isn't... Aren't you able to play this at PAX East? I'm pretty sure I saw that somewhere. <laughs> okay, so you so you take out Bonnie's eyes and that... Wait, let me just watch it through and then... I'll Here, I help wanted. Hi, baby. You should have known I'd find... Hi, uh... <laughs> Nightmare Fredbear, your colors are gonna get adjusted. Whoa. Whoa! Wait. And carefully remove it from its socket. Deposit the right eye in the cleaning receptacle on your right. It has picked up some unwanted friends. Okay, this we've seen. Clear the infestation. Yep, the pipes up top. Apply the Fazbear Entertainment. Rest on. Alright, Freddy's here. He's got a shoe in him. It looks like Foxy's proprietary. <laughs> oh no. Whoa, hey, okay. Hi, Toy Freddy. How's it going, friend? This is gonna be terrifying in VR. Okay, for now, three, we've seen this clip. Oh, Phantom. Mangle. Spring trap behind us. Puppet, we've seen this. Is that it? Alright, so I started doing a little bit of um, analyzing during the start of it, and then I realized. Let me just react to it first, and then I'll analyze it. But, so these are beta testers, or some sort of testers, testing the game. I said testers like three times. Um, they're doing the Bonnie section. Apparently, we have to take out both of his eyes. And I believe later in the video, we heard, remove it carefully. And so I'm guessing they don't, and then you get jump scared. Ah! <laughs> and look... Look at that reaction, by the way. Just yeah, focus on them. <laughs> um, like, their chair went back. They, I mean, their chair can't do this. Neither can mine. But, <laughs> and they're like, in this position. That must be very scary in VR. Because Bonnie's right in your face. That's all you can see. So yeah, probably not careful enough. This we've seen already. We've talked about it in the last trailer. Uh, 1 a.m. clock in the background. This is the FNAF 4 house. It's obvious. We, this we've also seen. There's another clock up on the dresser. Um, this we haven't seen, which is super interesting. This, again, fits in with how um, the wallpaper has changed, which is interesting. Um, and it, But it looks like it's mostly the same. So this is FNAF 4 obviously with the doors and you got the flashlight so you do actually have to check the doors because the only FNAF 4 thing we'd seen was this you should have known I'd find and also this so uh, 
I'm thinking that this section of the game is a FNAF 4 remake with the addition of being able to hide in the closet from Baby. And then, uh, I can't remember who said this, I I've watched a few videos of people, different people analyzing the trailers. It might have been Darko or Treesicle, but um, the plush babies shaking, one of them said, I wish I could remember which one, maybe that's an indication of whether or not Baby's in the bedroom. Which, if so, that's a really neat mechanic, and that's awesome. So yeah, Baby and Funtime Freddy can be in the FNAF 4 house, because Sis Location and the FNAF 4 house are linked up, it's obvious. And so it looks like Funtime Freddy is acting just the same way, what is that, the right hallway? So, uh, Nightmare Chica is acting. Die. Yeah. And carefully right, removed. So then we have the Barney bit. I, I saw this on Reddit, and some people are actually getting kind of mad that the material for the FNAF 1 animatronics has been changed from the iconic fur and fabric to this more, um, different material. I don't know. But yeah, so let's actually listen to what he has to say. Die ...and carefully remove it from its socket. Deposit the right eye in the cleaning receptacle on your right. Okay, yeah, so you remove, what is that, Bonnie's right eye, and then you put it in a cleaning receptacle. For cleaning, I'm guessing. Even though, usually, with M trunks in real life, I'm pretty sure people just replace them. Deposit but, the right eye in the... But Fazbear Entertainment is definitely cheap, and... With the addition of changing what the animatronics are made out of, they've also changed the endoskeletons to better suit this game. Cleaning receptacle on your right. Then we get actually a really good look if it would pause in time. We actually get a pretty good look at Bonnie's guitar. That's a pretty cool guitar. Um, the cleaning receptacle is down here. It looks a bit like a trash bin. And then I'm also seeing boxes full of um, fragile things, yeah, fragile boxes, electronic, that box actually says, yeah, that box says electronic, and this is a toolbox down here, so maybe we're gonna be able to switch in and out from grabby hands, from taking bits out, and then we can pull out our toolbox to get out, like, a wrench, or a hammer, uh, uh, or something else, a screwdriver, Right, this was in the original one, the original trailer, but I missed some things. The toxic meter, do not... I don't know, my face cam is actually covering it, but trust me, there's a toxic meter up in the top left, and there's also two bright green-red buttons on the side of Chica's on head. One right there, to clear the and the other one right... The Fazbear Entertainment yeah, it's behind the text, unfortunately. But the these two pipes are going to be spewing out some sort of gas or something to get rid of the cockroaches. Entertainment. And it does look like this is in a kitchen. Sorry, I keep <laughs> I keep pausing at the wrong moments. Like, these are obviously pizza or, like, bread trays. And then you also have, like, cans of maybe soda or something over here. To or clear the just station. carriers of the something. Entertainment. Rest and next up, we actually get a... Um, a colored version of one of the secret teasers that we saw in the first trailer, or the first teaser, sorry, for this game. Freddy, looking a bit different, of course, they've changed his materials, and they've also changed how he looks on the inside. What's interesting is that there's a shoe. There's a shoe inside of Freddy. So, this to me, I haven't seen Darko's video on this, I haven't seen... Actually, Trisco hasn't done a video on this, I'm pretty sure, but I'm sure they will. Um, this, to me, proves that the dead bodies were stuffed into the suits in FNAF 1. The five missing kids were stuffed into some suits. Whether it be these exact suits, or whether it be some other suit, they were stuffed in some suit somewhere, and this shoe, to me, confirms that. It's, it's really not that big of a stretch. 
We also see some valves. This is unbelievably crazy. Unbelievably crazy. This is this is just amazing to me. So first, we have Foxy's endoskeleton. We act, we can actually see what it looks like. His ears are actually really realistic to what they would be in real life. See, it pays off to be a robot nerd. So it looks like we have Foxy's head, and we just kind of pop it on there. Oh no! It looks like Foxy's proprietary. It looks like Foxy's something. I also noticed that Foxy has no legs. What is he, Felix? Wait, oh, wait, hold on, there's a note. There's a note, ah, oh, come on, oh, let me see it. There's a note. There's something right here, I can't read what that says. There's another, another fragile box. I don't know what all these are on Foxy. Uh, you can see it for a split second. Before the video um, cuts to the next scene. It says like number three, I think. Let me actually slow down the footage. I'm pretty sure it says number three. That's a really good frame of Foxy. That's... Ah uh, ha ha. Ah, uh, that's hot. Yeah, let me slow down the video. Because there's a, there's a sticky note. Or, so, or something. On this box. And I don't know what it is. I think it says number three. But I'm not sure. Alright, no. Uh, 175 that's not going to be enough, 0.25. Yeah, so it says number 2, like, there's, let's see, there's an electrical symbol right there. This kind of, this is the biggest stretch ever, and I know it's not true at all, but to me, this kind of looks like the FNAF 4 box. It's not, obviously it's not, but just a little bit. Maybe? I don't know. I might just be being weird. Alright, continue. We can also hear like Foxy's um, electronic no, parts. It looks like Foxy's proprietary. Yeah, which again is very realistic to life because with no music playing and no vocals, you can hear the parts of animatronics moving. Right. Ah, wait, hold on, let me go back. It's not important at all, oh, but it's no. it's a fun fact. It looks like Foxy's proprietary. Hear that? Yeah, so here, Toy Friday walking down the hallway. There's no celebration poster or celebrate poster. And then the FNAF 3 thing we've seen. I... Whoa. Are those just lights? Yeah, those are just lights. Yeah, I messed this up in the first video. This is just the vent camera. Only for the vents. I'm guessing maybe you click this button to seal it. And then, if we actually go to a little bit farther in the clip, we can see that right there, whoa, wait, go back, is the actual um, camera system with the rooms in the building. We have another clock, reads 2 a.m., have a phone, interesting, and then we have the control manual, obviously, with Springtrap in the hallway. And then the puppet, we've seen this clip. And that's it. So, oh boy, that is a lot. I think the most interesting thing is probably, surprisingly enough, it might actually be this clip of Bonnie. It suck it. Also, if anybody can decipher, I, I say that like it's a secret message, it's just another language. If anybody knows what this says, I, it would make my day if you would tell me, because I cannot read, right um, I'm not even going to say what language that may or may not be, because I will get lots of feedback from it, but this is a very interesting trailer, obviously this is a gameplay trailer, and it shows loads of clips from the game, but this, this trailer is going to help me a lot with talking about this thing, you guys can't see it, but... I'm working on a script for the video, and this trailer is going to help me so much. Anyways, so, <laughs> yeah, so FNAF 2, we are going to be playing, obviously, with Toy Freddy. We've also t seen Toy Bonnie and Toy Chica in the teaser. We've seen the marionette in a later clip of this, actually. 
right? Yeah. Somewhere. But this game looks so fun. And obviously, the people at the beginning seem to be having a blast. Yeah, you have to do some repairs. I just realized, I heard someone say, yeah, you have to do some repairs. <laughs> yeah, you have to do some repairs. <laughs> I don't know if that was the cameraman or someone else at there, but whatever. You should have known I'd find Anyways, yeah, so back to this. <laughs> yeah, you have to do some repairs. I believe I read somewhere that's a, that's a really weird frame to pause on. I read somewhere and I don't know if this is accurate. But I'm pretty sure that you can play Help Wanted at PAX East. I don't know when PAX East is, but let me let me look it up. I read somewhere. I'm pretty sure it was on <coughs> Reddit. Yeah, so it's on. Oh, it it started today, twenty eighth. Yeah, it started today, and it goes until the thirty first. So starting today, Thursday the 28th, it has the 29th, 30th, and 31st you can play it. But I'm pretty sure, if it's already started, I'm pretty sure tickets are going to be sold out, so... But hey, you know, hopefully we're going to get some cool videos of people playing it at PAX East. Really wish I could go. This is this has got to be my favorite clip. I know the Bonnie one is probably most important, but this is just awesome. Oh no. It looks like Foxy's proprietary. Yeah, Foxy has no legs. Where do your legs go? Maybe we have to take off his legs. That would be cool. I mean, we've already seen that his head's off. So... And we're taking out Bonnie's eyes, so it wouldn't surprise me if we we're gonna end up taking off his legs at some point. Maybe we're gonna be able to fix Foxy, and I can't remember if I said this on camera, but I definitely did say this to one of my friends. But... Since we are doing FNAF 2, and since we are repairing robots, though we've only seen us repairing the FNAF 1 animatronics, it would be awesome to be able to fix Mangle. They have been broken for the entirety of this franchise, and for the first time ever, properly, Funtime Foxy is not the fixed version of Mangle. There is no way, no how, their endoskeletons are completely different. You can see them. You can see Funtime Foxy's endoskeleton in the extras menu of Sys Location. Their endoskeletons are nothing alike. Nothing. Also, Funtime Foxy goes on to be a part of Ennard, and then Ennard goes on to be Molten Freddy, so that also doesn't work out. So that was the gameplay trailer for Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help wanted very very interesting some great scenes that w there were <laughs> geez, there were great scenes in there that really help our understanding of the game and what it's going to be about though i do have a bit of questions to ask but luckily i've written down here writing a script for it the video should be out <sighs> hopefully sometime soon all i'm gonna do like, it's not going to be a fully-fledged project, it's just going to be a quick, a quick script, I'm writing things down, go up type, typing things up, and then I'm going to have my monitor on, reading off that script, reading to you guys. I won't be, like, looking at the script, I'll be just like, alright, that's my line, and I'll say it. I'll be just like, oh, you know, so I'm doing that for two videos, um, actually, yeah, two videos. And then hopefully soon, after all of this craziness is over, I'm going to do one final live stream to wrap up my ideas on Help Wanted and then also get you guys involved so we can kind of bounce ideas off each other. It's going to be super cool. So, thank you everyone so much for watching. You can find the original clip of the trailer, both trailers, down in the description below along with my reaction to the first one. And I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.